Shemenawa by Naoko Kumagai. This is a story I was told. It was August 1973. My brother Jiro was four, sitting at dinner. Eat a dakimas, my uncle said. Jiro picked up onigiri, a rice ball, with his hands and smashed it into his mouth. Fish and rice cake on his plate untouched. He stuffed another onigiri in his mouth, bits of rice falling. Jiro-chan, a warning from my mother. Jiro opened his mouth wide, displayed his tongue covered in tiny white beads of rice. Kazuya stood up and roughly pulled Jiro out of his chair. What are you doing? My mother asked, getting up. Kazuya went out the back door, carrying Jiro firmly under his arm. With the other hand, he picked up a circle roof hanging on the fence by the shed. In the yard was a large oak tree with heavy twisted branches. He wrapped the rope around my brother once, then pushed him to the trunk of the oak, winding the rope around and around. He must eat his dinner properly. My uncle tied a thick knot at the end. He needs to learn to be a man. My mother was shouting at my uncle. Jiro was screaming, the sounds flooding the sky. And Kasuya went back into the house, relaxed and entitled, as if he had just finished a long day's work. No one remembered the rest. My mother never forgave my uncle. My father wasn't there. Jiro can't recall any of it. He jokes that he that the incidents is possibly the reasons he always intuitively eats everything on his plates. Thank you.